All right, what's up, you guys? So, I pretty much, I wanted to make this just talk about, like, how, how, do, I, how do I really phrase this? Um, I guess jealousy and hatred. That's that's the biggest way I can say is hatred. I guess it really started with, like, the whole evolution after Facebook, like, all the Twitters, Instagrams, and all that. You you can be able to see, like, a lot more of what your friends and um, people that you look up to, what they're doing more and more. And so it started increasing more and more hatred because they're seeing people posting up Ferraris, Lamborghinis, all kind of chains, being with all kind of types of famous people and just doing all kind of stuff that they wish they can do or they really, really want to do. And then it started getting more and more hatred and more and more just negative comments and people that's getting really out of character. And then people started to doing all kind of crazy stuff just to try to get attention so that they can be popular and they can, you know, get that stuff too. Because now it's like, now it's like you don't even have to like have talent as long as you like do some crazy, get viral. And then people start paying you and stuff for like getting viral, like for... People started paying because you have a lot of followers and brand deals and you can get all that. So now it's like you don't got to like have all kind of hatred. Like use that hatred as motivation. All right. Quick example. Right. If you're at the gym. Right. And you're seeing like these big old, big old crazy guys. Like you don't got to be like, oh, fuck them. They're using steroids or they're um they're they don't gonna be buff or blah 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 like whatever like use that as motivation but okay all right if, if they're they're like that that means i gotta work that means i gotta i gotta step up my thing you know that means i gotta you know start doing a couple extra sets a couple extra reps you know couple in a couple more days a week start cutting down more and more um junk food so same thing with everything if, oh if you see some artists blows up like instead of being jealous you just let that inspire you but okay they got rich because they kept posting they kept, they kept posting their work they didn't stop um they, they was consistent hmm, maybe i should do that too maybe i should add the consistency and see how far that can go because the number one thing that mess people up is they they quick to burn their bridges like instead of like working together and like building something because like a lot of this shit isn't a competition like it's a group effort that's what people don't understand they think it's oh um one person can only make it no it's, it's, a, it's a group effort but people they'll compare themselves and be like no i'm better than this person or I'm better than that person but no like it's a group effort like if you are a actor right and then you're in class you're sitting next to a photographer you're sitting next to um somebody who wants to be a director you're sitting next to somebody who wants to do lights and sound like you guys could all work together like and no i i really i don't ever see that happening like me personally like i do photography so anybody that I see who wants to model who wants to do this or that like i'm i'm, I'm quick to connect with people i'm like hey i'm um, trying to work with something you trying to do something, you trying to set something up or whatever, whatever. But that's what a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people just like, this person sucks, this person's all of that. And then people, because people usually like will wait until um you will hold on to my phone oh sorry i checked my phone um anyways people usually like will try to wait until like you develop an audience and then they'll try to be like oh i always believed in you or, oh i knew you could do it blah, blah blah and then of course nobody isn't gonna like respond to that or respect that that's how people get like blocked and stuff and then they'd be like well why did this person block me you change you're different no i didn't change just realized that you were fake so i responded accordingly you know but that's gonna happen so even though this is all <laughs> even though this is all over the place what i'm saying is that don't have hate like if somebody's doing way better than you like ask for advice like that's not that that's like the number one thing that people hate doing is like asking for advice or tips or help like no if somebody's doing what you want to do <laughs> Or got or something or if somebody's doing something that's respectable, ask questions like, "Hey, um, how'd you do that? Did you need to do this or this? Did you have to go to school for that, or did you have to go to an agency for that? How did you like, you know, then write, you know, just like I mean, not write down, but just like remember what they say. If they say, oh, just be consistent, go to this type of school, or post on this." type of website you know take that into consideration you know and then apply as much as that information to what you already know and then boom you just like hit it like that but you would believe <laughs> you want to believe how many people don't want to work and, and they don't want to put in that consistent they'll like work for like the first two months every day every day every day then they notice that it's not like going anywhere so they'll, they'll stop for a couple months and then they'll bounce back and then blah, blah, blah. then at that after like a year or so they'll completely stop because they're like oh it isn't working people are not are not um messing with it as much as i thought they would but it should take time bro like it take years i mean some people can blow up like quick like a month but the majority of people like it takes 
like work years you know a consistent like um portfolio with anything you do if that's acting you need a, a crazy reel start you know if you have friends that do that have a camera but hey um can you film me you doing up a couple things or whatever and most likely they'll say yeah like me personally like i like to film a lot of stuff not so much as anymore because i've been doing this for years so the more stuff i'm, I'm like filming i'm getting more and more like particular on what i want to uh, film and, and take photos of but like me a few years ago i'll just Whoever would ask me, hey, do you want to um, do this type of shoe? Do you want to do that type of shoe? I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I'll, I'll work with whoever. But when people, they they stop being assistant. They they'll they'll get like out of it, like out of the feel like. I don't know what it's called, but like they'll, they'll just stop wanting to do it. Like that desire just kind of like dies out super quick after they don't see results after like a couple months. And that's, I mean, I've seen it. Like people that will either work with me, they'll like work with me for a couple of days and lag it and then they don't want to do it no more. Then they want to bounce it back <laughs> after they seen like the, some, some of the successes I've been having in, in like different fields. But you know, that's just people for you. People will forever be like iffy and like they want to jump on like whatever's biggest instead of growing something. Instead of, you know, taking something at a lower level and growing it, they just want to find it whatever like up here and then like hop on it but yeah <laughs> it's a long video but like i said i'm back making more videos so if you take anything from this video take this last little part you don't have to hate just let that inspire you you know people are doing work you say okay i gotta step up i gotta add a few more hours i gotta you know do a little bit more overtime you know have that sacrifice a little bit more sleep to wake up extra early to handle more business and yeah you know people are gonna have emergencies family problems yada yada but especially with family like family like you have to really define what a family issue really really is and decide like if it's something that can hold off into the weekend or if it's something that you got to go do right now but some people kind of over exaggerate like a family issues like their dad will like get like a little scratch on his thumb and then all of a sudden they miss like three weeks of school straight <laughs> you know I was like no bro like you can miss the first day you know to check on any people but after that like they're really your family they don't want you to go finish doing what you're doing if that's school if that's work if that's your passion like, they don't want you to keep doing what you're doing not you know waste all your time and cancel everything and to be with them unless it's something serious like cancer or like on the, they're on a deathbed something serious like that but people try to use it or exaggerate on an emergency but anyways thank you guys check out my website Devon Gorm photography.com subscribe like share blah 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 blah